the life and sad ending of Imogene Coca. Imogene Coca, born Imogene Coca, was born November 18, 1908, in Philadelphia. Coca was the daughter of Joseph Fernandez Coca, a violinist and vaudeville orchestra conductor, and Sadie Brady, a dancer and magician's assistant. Coca's father was of Spanish descent. Coca took lessons in piano, dance, and voice as a child, and while still a teenager, moved from Philadelphia to New York City to become a dancer. She got her first job in the chorus of the Broadway musical When You Smile and became a headliner in Manhattan nightclubs with music arranged by her first husband, Robert Burton. She gained prominence when she began to combine music with comedy. Her first critical success was in New Faces of 1934. A well-received part of her act was as a comic striptease, during which Coca made sultry faces and gestures, but would manage to remove only one glove. She committed this routine to film in the educational pictures comedy short, The Bashful Ballerina in 1937, and co-starred opposite another newcomer to films, Danny Kaye, in Educational's 1937 short, Dime a Dance. Both of these comedies were filmed in New York. She played opposite Sid Caesar on the Admiral Broadway Review, January to June 1949, and then a breakthrough in career in the sketch comedy program Your Show of Shows, which was immensely popular from 1950 to 1954, winning the Emmy for Outstanding Variety Series in 1953 and 1952. The 90 Minute Show was aired live on NBC every Saturday night in prime time. She won the second ever Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series in 1951 and was nominated for four other Emmys for her work in the show. She won a 1953 Peabody Award for Excellence in Broadcasting. Her success in that program earned her her own series, The Imogene Coca Show, which ran from 1954 to 1955. Prior to working with Caesar, she had starred in an early ABC series, Buzzy Wuzzy, which lasted four episodes in 1948. She went on to star in two more series. In the 1963-64 TV season, Coca portrayed a comic temporary helper in the NBC sitcom Grindel. It competed with the second half of the Ed Sullivan show and lasted only one season. Coca later starred as a cavewoman with Joe E. Ross in the 1966-67 time travel satire sitcom It's About Time. She appeared to appear on comedy and variety series throughout the 1950s, 1960s, and 1970s and 80s, including several appearances each on The Carol Burnett Show, The George Goebel Show, The Hollywood Palace, and Ed Sullivan's Toast of the Town, and Bob Hope specials. She appeared on other shows and specials by Dean Martin, Jackie Gleason, Jerry Lewis, Dick Clark, Danny Kay, and Andy Williams. The Sid Caesar, Imogene Coca, Carl Rainier, and Howard Morris special won a 1967 Emmy for Outstanding Variety Special. She made memorable guest appearances on sitcoms, including two appearances on Bewitched, The Brady Bunch, and Mama's Family. She appeared with Milton Berle and Your Show of Shows co-star Howard Morris in Curtain Call, a 1983 episode of Fantasy Island. Coca appeared in a number of literary adaptations for children. In 1960, she was Miss Clavel in Sol Sachs's adaptation of Ludwig Bimmelman's Madeline for Shirley Temple's storybook. In 1972, she voiced the character of Princess Jane Clockenlocker in The Enchanted World of Danny Kaye, a Rankin-based version of Hans Christian Andersen's The Emperor's New Clothes. In 1978, she appeared in A Special Sesame Street Christmas. In 1985, she played the cook in Alice in Wonderland, an all-star TV miniseries adaptation of the book by Lewis Carroll. Among her final roles was voicing the characters in Garfield and Friends. In 1988, Coca appeared as the mother of Alice Beasley Agnes in Moonlighting episode Los Dos de Pestos, written by David Steinberg. She received her sixth nomination as Outstanding Guest Performer in a Drama Series for the role. The same year, she was the female recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Award in Comedy 
at the second annual American Comedy Awards. Coco returned to Broadway at the age of 70 with the Tony Award nominated performance as religious zealot Letitia Primrose on the 20th Century, a 1978 musical adapted from the 20th century in 1934. She rejoined Sid Caesar in 1961 to 62, 1977, and 1990 to 91 for a traveling stage review and made an appearance with Caesar and Howard Morris at Comic Relief 6 in 1994. Coca had no children, but was married twice, for 20 years to Bob Burton from 1935 until his death in 1955, and later for 27 years to actor King Donovan from 1960 until his death in 1987. Sadly, on June 2, 2001, Coca died at her home in Westport, Connecticut, age 92, from natural causes incidental to Alzheimer's disease. She was cremated and her ashes scattered. <laughs>